Flint's Burston Fieldhouse is looking to preserve its 100-year history while also embarking on a bold new vision for the future. The plan is a $30 million expansion. This will also include renovating the 100-year building. Burston Fieldhouse is on Flint's north side and it has a rich history. When you talk with people, they tell you how this place shaped them into the person they are today. Families were able to come here to be able to have a good time, to be able to socialize, be able to exercise, be able to learn, uh, and, and be able to train uh, great athletes here. One of those athletes, Flint native Clarissa Shields. I love Burston. Without Burston, there would be no Clarissa Shields. Shields learning the love of boxing right here at Burston Fieldhouse. On Wednesday, she joined the Flint community to break ground on a new building. The expansion will allow Burston to expand its offerings. It's going to mean a lot for the community. It's going to inspire growth within the community for sure and uh, we continue to offer classes right now but we'll be able to expand on our classes. I wouldn't have found my love for boxing. I wouldn't have uh, you know found out who my true self was and been able to accept me for my hard hits and ruling attitude when it when it comes to fighting. In the new facility there will be dedicated spaces for boxing, art, music, dance and a community room. To see that they're putting so much work into the Flint community and to Flint burst and just uh, opens up my heart you know because down here was able to change my life but now with it with the having its, it's, its expansion it's going to bring more kids down here and going to be able to change more more kids lives. Through the years this place has been an outlet for so many children, a place for them to go after school. But this vision of expansion and improvement would not be possible without the efforts of the late Bryant B.B. Nolden. B.B.'s vision is living on and we're helping fulfill his legacy. Ridgeway White is the president of the Charles Stewart Mott Foundation. He can't wait for what this will offer to the community in memory of Nolden, who served as Burston's executive director until his death last year. The CS Mott Foundation has secured $10 million for the renovations and is committed to matching an additional $5 million. Burston really did uh, help me figure out uh, who I am and give me a path to my life to help my family. The construction will be done in two phases. The first is expected to take 18 months and will be a 57,000 square foot addition. Phase two will renovate the existing building. In total, the project will cost $30 million.